Okay guys, in seven minutes or less, I'm gonna be showing you everything you need to know about the latest at the market part, Jack Requiem, how it does in every tier zone in Zombies. This is for the cast off 762 and 545. This thing, guys, has zero recoil. None, nada, let's go. All right guys, so the Jack Requiem aftermarket part eliminates vertical recoil in the cast off 762 and 545. As you can see right now, we are in tier one and only legendary, no path just yet. And yeah, it's just busting zombies up with little to no recoil that I can even notice. And now we're in tier two, like I said, not even path yet, just busting zombies up, even the armored zombies. Not even path yet, just a legendary either tool. It's amazing what you can do with just a legendary tool. Guys, before we continue, let's check out today's sponsor. Guys, if you're looking to unlock Interstellar and Boralis camos, get all the schematics, play in bot lobbies, check out MitchCactus.com. They're completely safe and legit for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. They have over 10,000 verified reviews on Trustpilot. Be sure to use code GMAC for 5% off for a limited time only. All right, guys, so we went ahead and activated the PAP 2, and we also put on our Deadshot Daiquiri for critical hit combos. And this is where I think you get the most bang for your buck. With this aftermarket part, it feels really solid. I'm going in Tier 3 right now with just this PAP 2. And yeah, the gun feel is really solid, even on controller right now, on Xbox One controller on PC. And I don't feel like I have to control the recoil at all because... There is no vertical recoil. So unlike some assault rifles and LMGs in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, you know, sometimes I feel like I have to use the right thumbstick on my controller to kind of stop the gun from traveling up vertically when aiming down the sights. And with this aftermarket kit on this gun, I don't have to do that. When I aim down sights, it stays on target. And I take down whatever's in front of me. So I really like that. Okay, so in tier four right now, and I was kind of worried because my hillhound is really taking, he's taking a lot of damage, man. So uh -huh. I definitely got to help him out, but I still cannot get over the fact that there is like no recoil. I know the aftermarket part eliminates all vertical recoil. And I do have some attachments that I'll go over at the end of the video that pretty much takes away any horizontal recoil, if there was any. But, I mean, this thing is just does a phenomenal job. And I think, like I said, like I said earlier, you get your bang for your buck, especially in these high tier zones where critical hits matter, and it just takes away the stress of any kind of recoil. You know you're gonna hit critical, and you're gonna hit uh, your target every time. All right, so now for the real test. Can we take out this bounty? It's a mimic. I was hoping for a mega abomination, of course, for a really good test, but this is gonna be a test nonetheless of uh, bars. <laughs> and so, yeah, I did do a whole lot of damage right here, but as soon as I got into like an open area, then you can really see how good you can just stay on target at that critical hit points right there, dead shot, Jackery, and all that, man. And without any stress, he's done. All right, guys, so I really wanna talk about Number one, how to actually unlock this aftermarket part and the attachments I'm using on the gun. So first off, weekly challenges, you gotta get five challenges from week two. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick. Now I like to split these challenges when I do them every week between multiplayer and zombies. And that's just because some challenges are just easier in multiplayer. And then there's some that are just easier in zombies. It's just the way it is. So in multiplayer, I did three all together. Now these two I did in tandem. I did these, you know, at the same time. 20 kills with sites equipped to a recommended SMG. And on that same SMG, I put a silencer on it and I go prone and I got 12 kills like with without any issue at all, really quick, got it done fast. And then at the same time, you're gonna get 20 kills. And also I did this one right here. Now this was really easy, 10 operator clean kills while prone using recommended marksmanship rifle. Guys, I used that new car 98K in multiplayer and basically uh, clean kills means 
you gotta basically get the kill without taking any damage from whoever you are shooting at now some of these were just ridiculous like 15 uh, operator kills after reloading i mean <laughs> give me a break man so emotional damage where's the therapy button now for zombies i did these two and just one game like in 20 minutes of the map and zombies this was done both of these were freaking done come into the game with a recommended smg with any kind of sight on it and then you're going to get 100 kills easy and then you're going to put any kind of scope on a recommended assault rifle and just do the exfil pick off the exfil you, you guys already know that stuff man and just get all the kills i got it done like i said in like the first 20 minutes not even that i don't think she was so easy Cast off 762, boom, beautiful gun. Out, uh, I will say that too. Now, muzzle four, the muzzle board 490 does take away any kind of horizontal recoil that might have been on there. And then 40 round mag, jack weapon kit does take away vertical recoil. But like I said, this board 490 seems to be the best um, one to just eliminate all recoil just to make it that much better. Fours dot sight. I like that sight. And then this Choreo last 4-4 V3. Uh aim down sight speed and then some stability while you're at while you're aiming down the sight. All right, boom. Look at her low recoil. Look at this. Full automatic. Low recoil, man. Far away. Got the reload. No recoil. Love it. So yeah, guys, um, that is the video and that is the uh, new aftermarket kit. Like I said, I'm going to be doing these uh, for the most part pretty much every week. So yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. And if you're looking for a video on another gun that is really, really good, and uh, check this video out right here. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Peace.